So today I wanted to go ahead and show you what the reaction is from a real car driver. So this is Tommy from Pikes Peak International Raceway driving the Performance Model 3 along with Greg, the car's owner, and his reactions to it. I'm really excited uh, and was happy to hear everything he said. Super, super nice to hear that he enjoyed the Tesla as much as he did. I think it's time we hand over the camera to them in the car so you guys can see what they thought of it. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's super cool. Even though. the glove box runs off here. There's really? No, there's no button. That's pretty crazy. Okay, that's probably good. Um, and then, yeah, we just track mode. And that's it. Right, oh yeah, so down, uh, all the way down, a hard down is drive. Okay. Yep. Actually, yeah, I'll just make a turn here. Yeah, I've never driven one of these things before. This is pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> this this car is wild. Yeah, that's a, I keep hearing, I read a bunch about it. And it seems like everybody's just like, dude, it's a monster. Just yeah, just jam on the on the gas, the brakes, whatever you want. Cool. And then in track mode, I did, it still has ABS, I'm assuming. Yep, yeah, okay. yeah, so it, Tesla's thing is like, oh, we don't, everyone else's track mode just disables features where ours enhances. It enhances the So it has like a, a race-oriented stability control. Right, that's sweet. But, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> the brakes seem really good too, actually. That's it slows itself down really well. Good release of the brake, nice trail. Predictable, it doesn't get any big wheel spin or anything. <laughs> so yeah, I mean you can feel the traction control kicking in a little bit, but it's more of just like the stability control. So it gives you like a little bit of yaw, but not enough to the point where it's scrubbing speed. So that's where it's like that racing oriented feel. Uh -huh. It definitely gives you kind of the optimal amount of slip. Yeah. That's pretty quick for a street car, for yes. sure. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> a nice little, like, throttle application mid corner it's just like a real predictable set of the car Starting to make a little bit more noise, so I'll just take okay. it easy through here. No, that's fun though. That thing's it's quick, a, man. Yeah. And it, I mean, it handles a lot better than honestly I anticipated. What What does the vehicle weigh? It's about 4,000 pounds. Oh, it's a wow. heavy, heavy car. Okay, right. So, I mean, especially for that weight, it's pretty nimble, especially with that track mode enabled. I mean, you can really kind of use that weight transfer to your advantage and like dive the thing onto its nose and like huck it into a corner smoothly. Um, and especially like even right there, you don't really need to be on the brake and it starts decelerating. So that in itself really kind of helps during like just that pedal transition phase where it's so normally in a regular combustion engine, like as I'm transitioning from gas to brake or vice versa, there's obviously very minimal engine slowing going on there, right? But as this, I mean, it's kind of helping keep that nose planted as we work our way through the corner. 
So it just kind of keeps that weight on the nose and allows you to really hug that corner a little bit tighter with all that weight. So that's that's pretty rad. Just using the accelerator pedal? Yeah, just lifting off of the thing. Like normally through here, it's a pretty right. heavy brake, but just off the gas, it's moving enough weight towards that front end to really give us some more front bite. And you don't have to switch back and forth. Right. So it kind of takes, like a lot of cars, like normally you want to do a little left foot braking, so you're kind of uh -huh. gas and brake to keep that weight planted. But in a way, okay. this kind of eliminates the need to do that. It's really doing it for you in that pedal transition phase, which is, it's pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> It's a wild little car. Yeah, that thing accelerates <laughs> like crazy. Yeah. And it's so bizarre not having an engine noise for me, like coming from really loud race cars. Right. It's like so quiet and so much faster than a lot of the stuff I've driven. It's just, that's bizarre. It's so cool. Yeah, the, the squealing of the tires with no engine noise is. Like... Yeah, it's kind of a mental trip a <laughs> yep. little bit. That's so cool. And then just uh, push the button on the end. Oh, there that gets in park. And then that's it. That's it. It'll pull itself that. down. This is about it's usually doing about three hundred watts. Oh wow! A so mile. It's, it's getting after <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> That's the highest. I got up just over a thousand. So you almost got twelve hundred. Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, cool. Thanks, Thanks a lot. lot. Yeah. Thank you for letting me drive it, <laughs> yeah. man. That was really cool. So there you go. That is the take from a real race car driver. How he thought about it. What he thought of track mode really awesome to hear exactly how he explained it because he did a much better job than anything I could just because he understands it and has done it a lot more. So it was great to get his input. Uh, again, super big thanks to Pikes Peak International Raceway for having us out and allowing us access to the track to be able to play around with some track mode. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't play around with it as long as we had hoped just because of the front left tire. If you saw Wednesday's video, that's what that was about. So the left front tire, we kind of tore up a little bit probably from some of like the spins that we ended up doing just from taking corners a little too hard. But I'm super excited to see the future of track mode. I will be doing some track classes, some racing classes and courses just so I can get more familiar with it and really plan to extend my reach on this front. I have a very, very special announcement coming on Monday. So be sure to tune in for that. I think a lot of you guys will really like that. For the most part, like I just can't thank everyone enough. Again, huge thanks to Abstract Ocean 2 for helping sponsor the channel and allowing us to do such awesome things. But yeah, as always, if you guys are looking for a Tesla, definitely check out our website, teslainventory.com. If you're looking for a new or inventory Model SX or Model 3, any kind of Model 3, performance, long range, mid range, anything, feel free to use our referral code. It's down in the description below and at the top of our website. Using it will actually get you six months of free supercharging, which is an awesome perk. Definitely get out there, enjoy it, and do some road trips. And if you use it, send us an email through the website. The top right is a little Roadster icon. That way we have your contact info so when we take delivery of our next gen Roadsters, we can have you guys out, do test rides, test drives, because really all your support, none of this would be possible. And we can't thank you guys enough for all the support you guys have shown us. That basically rounds up this Friday. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Go ahead and click here to subscribe, here for some other ones. We'll see you guys in the next one.